opened in 1914. We're at Davis Wade Stadium, the second oldest Division 1A football stadium in the country. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They come out on an empty backfield. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From their own 39-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got it to his man on the screen. on the play and not a whole lot of yards there for the wide receiver but at least a short gain is better than an incompletion third down and 13 ball on the 36 and here's a quick throw it's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Got it with room to run. And down he goes at the 32. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Tackles right around the 24 yard line. That makes it second and two. Got hit and still completed it. And he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. McIntosh picks up six yards with that grab. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And the quarterback took a pretty good shot there, but he still got the ball where it had to go. There he goes. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive with this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's brought down. It's second and four. 
Ball on the 31 yard line. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 30 yard line. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 30 yard line, third down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Around the 37 yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 37 yard line. Second down. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. It puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. They fake the handoff and complete the pass good for six yards. I got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. Jackson back deep to return. He's tackled at the 25. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle at the 28. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 28-yard line. Georgia is up seven. They go to the ground game, and they make the stop around the 25-yard line. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. Thorson awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Williams fields it at the 35. Tackle made at the 42. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got an opening. They'll bring him down right around the 50. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he hits him hard at the 44. Two, watch two. 
Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for him. That brings him second and eight. From the 39-yard line, second down. Room around the corner. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 27. made around the 31 yard line well the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker and he got through almost untouched second down 14 coming up here ball on the 31 yard line and he just gets rid of it With the pass incomplete. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Georgia is up by four. He's scrambling. He's to the 40, dives forward. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. He's hit and taken down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Gets it out to the wide alley. He's got the first. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21 yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Throws out and through his hands. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow.
makes it to the 11. So we're looking at another third down here. Throws it. That's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. That makes it so delicious. What a play, and that is first and goal. Gain of nine yards. That makes and this is the 11th play of the current drive. So at the end of one quarter, Georgia in front, 7-3. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Let's go, D. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he's taken down at the one yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Georgia is up four. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Second and 10. Ball on the 42. Mike two, Mike two. Zips it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Jackson is back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 42-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll work the left. Gains his way to midfield. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Ready. 
First down grab. Steps out of bounds around the 38-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Catches it, and that's all. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. He's out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Bauer picks up about four yards with a catch. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. So they're going to go for it here. hit hard for a loss. They don't pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They get him in the backfield for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. From their own 28-yard line, second down. I got you, punk. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at about the 41. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And here's a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First and 10, ball on the 23. the middle for a nice game. Gaining four on one play. play. That'll, That'll make, make it second and seven. seven. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Let's go. Like two. Like two. Just throws this one away. From the 19-yard line. Third down. Quick toss. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Goes to the end zone, and he's got the halfback. Touchdown. And 
Brady tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 32. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia is up by four. Fires out to his wideout, and he's immediately tackled. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 32. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They make the stop around the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they push him out right around the 46-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Mike 14. Mike 14. Let's go. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Under heavy pressure, throws it deep, can't pull it in. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. at the 21. First and 10. Ball on the 21. Mike 14. Mike 14. Throws complete and he's hit right away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Throws it. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. 
Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to... Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. Down the sideline. Touchdown! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. And they hit him in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four yards. Third down. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Here we go. Here we go. By 10. By 10. Gets it out quickly. And he hits him hard. The 49 yard line. Down, 10 to go. Ball in the 49. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. First down grab by the receiver. He's tackled at the 36. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's taken down at the 11. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Here's the eighth play of the series. He'll keep it on the ground again, and he's taken down at about the 11. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Mississippi State lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series.
Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. Fires it out, and he's tackled at midfield. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. And a quick throw, and he's tackled right away. intercepted it's an intelligent play by the defender all you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball from the 45 yard line third down they'll spread the field with five wide there's a strike complete brought down at about the 35 in the shotgun and five wide out Throws a strike over the middle, and he's level at the 27. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 31-17, Georgia. Well, we've played a half of football. Georgia's lead is two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. According to the scoreboard, the first half went pretty much as scripted. We expected this team to be on top, and they are. They're up by two scores. That's not surprising. But I'm not so sure that, that there are really different feelings in the locker room right now. You might have a couple of confident teams taking a break. Yeah, you might be you might be up by a couple of scores, but you probably feel like you could add more to it. You feel like everything's gone as scripted, as planned. You feel like you're doing what you want to do. You're limiting them from doing what they want to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Inside handoff. That's a great tackle at the 24. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Jackson, the return man. Oh, excellent punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. 
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Gets the carry, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And they make the stop at about the 45. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. From the 30 yard line, first down. Mike 14, Mike 14. Here we go. Mike 18. Tackled for a loss. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game four. First down. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Caught out in the open. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This is the 12th play of this drive. It's on a move, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 56 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 38 17.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? It's second and 13. Ball on their own 22. Nice run up the middle. a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception from midfield it's second down they keep it on the ground with a tailback he makes his way to about the 42 that makes it third and three And they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Oh, boy. Oh. Almost intercepted. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. My 14, my 14. Go. Ready. Red, 68. Little screen pass. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. again he makes it to the 35 yard line from the 35 yard line second down five wide makes it to the 27. immediately tackled from the 20 yard line first down the 
They'll get him for a loss. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. out to about the 21. And here's another third down. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an eight-play, 53-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Got him. And he goes down quickly. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Caught and he steps out of bounds. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Complete. He's got room. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42 yard line. He's taken down at the 45. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one might be over. The Bulldogs with a huge lead. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. They go to the ground game, and down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. Passes, and it's almost picked off. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here we go. 
and he's tackled at about the 35. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Georgia is winning big. And he's going to come up with a sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. the middle for a nice game. That brings up third and 12. Get to that quickly. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Thorson to punt. He fields the punt at the 16, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down around the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, first down. Throws it out, knocked loose. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's third and five. Ball on the 31. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Caught open field. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. First 
First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. the 40. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time up. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Second and five. Ball on the 35. McIntosh takes it right side. He fights forward to about the 33. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. First and 10. Ball on the 26. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. He'll get the call again. There's another. And he adds the extra point. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Rodgers, he's been looking very sharp. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. And the thing that's really helped him here is his decision-making continues to be consistent. It's allowing this offense to move the ball down the field and put the ball into the end zone. The high numbers are well and fine, but it might not be enough. they got to put up some points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Here we go. He throws. Got it. They'll bring him down at the 27. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Caught enough for the first down. Tackle around the 15-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Pass 
bounces it to the middle of the field. Tackle made around the six-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run there. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And for Rodgers, he makes it four scoring tosses. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. And he tacks on the extra point. at the 48. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's on the run. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That brings up second and one. A little over a minute in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows him to continue to work this clock. They'll work the right side. He's tackled around the one yard line. That brings him second and goal. should do it. Our final tally in this one. Georgia, 52. Mississippi State, 31. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.